Hello guys, the new kid on the block, the Samsung A31, is taking on the GOAT from Infinix, I'm, I'm the, GOAT. the Infinix Note 7. And yes, the Infinix Note 7 has a beautiful display. Bites me, me I could like attention. In this video, I'll be comparing the two phones to show you which smartphone is the right one for you. Now let's get started. Now, for the price, the Samsung A31 cost 102,000 Naira, while the Infinix Note 7 cost 78,000 Naira. There's a price difference of 24,000 Naira, which is enough to buy you an iPhone 7 Plus from the floor guys at Computer Village. <laughs> Don't buy phones from those guys, you people will not hear what. Now let's get serious. For the build quality, both smartphones are made from plastic. Samsung like to call theirs glastic, but if it looks like a duck and swims like a duck, you get the gist. Infinix says the Note 7 has Corning Gorilla Glass at the front, but just like this month's work result, we don't know if it's real or not. The Samsung A31 on the other hand has glass at the front. So for the build quality, it's a tie. Now, looking at the bottom of both smartphones, the Samsung A31 comes with a USB Type-C port, while the Infinix Note 7 is still rocking something your grandparents will recognize, the micro USB port. On the flip side, the Infinix Note 7 has stereo speakers, while the Samsung A31 has a mono speaker, and comparing the sound coming out of the two devices, the Infinix Note 7 trumps the Samsung A31. Both smartphones have a dual SIM tray and a memory card slot. The Samsung A31 has dual microphones, which helps it in recording audio while recording a video, and also for noise cancelling, while the Infinix just has one microphone. So in terms of features like the USB Type-C port and the dual microphones, the Samsung A31 wins. But the Infinix Note 7 has stereo speakers, and I don't know about you guys, I would definitely pick the USB Type-C port and dual microphones over stereo speakers. Now moving to the display, the Samsung A31 comes with a 6.4 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display while the Infinix Note 7 comes with a 6.9 inch 720p IPS panel that is beautiful and quality wise the display on the Samsung A31 is obviously the better one. Now it isn't like the Infinix Note 7 display is bad, not at all, it's just that the Samsung A31 display is superior. Now let's do a quick recap before we go on to performance. For the build quality, it's a tie. For the features like USB Type-C port and the noise cancelling microphone, the Samsung A31 wins. For the display, the Samsung A31 wins. But for performance, this is where the Infinix Note 7 maltreats the Samsung A31 and the Samsung A51. Let's start off with the fingerprint scanners. The Samsung A31 comes with an optical fingerprint scanner on the display, while the Infinix Note 7 comes with a side-mounted fingerprint scanner that doubles as the power button. The Infinix Note 7 malhandles the Samsung A31 in this area, it's not even funny. Look, I can unlock the Infinix Note 7 and launch Instagram before the Samsung A31 even unlocks. Crazy! Both smartphones have the face unlock feature and no surprise here, the Samsung A31 is the slow device. The Samsung A31 comes with a MediaTek Helio P65 chipset while the Infinix Note 7 comes with a MediaTek Helio G70 chipset. Running the Antutu benchmark test, the Infinix Note 7 is the faster device and running Geekbench test, the result is the same, the Infinix Note 7 wins. Launching applications, the story is the same, the Infinix Note 7 wins. So when it comes to performance, the Infinix Note 7 is not your mate. Moving on to the camera department, this is one area I am curious to know which smartphone wins. The Samsung A31 comes with a 20 megapixel front facing camera, while the Infinix Note 7 comes with a 16 megapixel front facing camera. Looking at the pictures, I can't seem to pick a winner. Both smartphones did a good job at capturing the image and honestly, I can't seem to pick a winner. Images captured on the Infinix Note 7 are a bit warm, while the Samsung A31 is a bit on the cool side. Which device takes the better picture, I really can't see. Hello guys, good morning. So here's a video from the front facing camera of both smartphones. They both shoot in 1080p, 30 frames per second. No 4K on both smartphones. The Infinix Note 7, however, has image stabilization while recording using the front facing camera. The Samsung A31 doesn't have that feature. So when I run, the video on the Infinix Note 7 should be smoother than the video coming out from the A31. What do you guys think about the video quality coming out from both phones? Which one do you prefer? 
Moving to the red cameras, in the dark, the Infinix Note 7 trumps the Samsung A31. There's no night mode on the Samsung. However, the Samsung A31 has a wide angle lens while the Infinix Note 7 doesn't have one. Using the main camera sensor on both smartphones, I honestly can't say which one is better. However, when you use the 48 megapixel camera mode on the Infinix Note 7, you can see it has more details. Okay, now we're back to the red camera. <laughs> It's about to rain so i need to get <laughs> inside asap so this is a video from the right camera of both smartphones no 4k here the infinix note 7 has image stabilization using the right camera as well the samsung a31 doesn't have that feature so here's a demonstration of the image stabilization on the infinix note 7 as you can see the image is much smoother on the infinix note 7 when you run <laughs> Running journey me in the run. So, which one do you guys prefer? I think they both do the uh, It's about to rain. Okay. So, what do you guys think about the video quality coming up from the rear camera of both smartphones? Hello, Brownie. Hello. Come. Come say hello to YouTube. Hello. For the cameras, the Samsung A31 has the more versatile camera system. It has the wide-angle camera that some of us love, but it lacks the image stabilization the Infinix Note 7 has. Pictures and videos captured on both smartphones are identical to me, I would say it's a draw. For the battery, both smartphones come with a 5000mAh battery, which is impressive. The Infinix Note 7 comes with an 18W fast charger, while the Samsung A31 comes with a 15W fast charger. So 18W, 15W, I beg it's a draw, Jerry. You can't ignore the price and speed of the Infinix Note 7 while the display on the Samsung A31 is on another level. Which one is the winner? You guys should decide. Let me know your pick in the comment section below. So that's it for this comparison video. Thank you for watching to the end. Please like, share, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys soon. Valor, Jackpot!